And I notice the, you know, the word love is it, it's, it's woven through all like your message and, and compassion and, and um, self love. So what is, this is the, this is kind of the core of your message. So where does, where does this come from? What can you tell us about self love? Yeah, I think one of the biggest surprises that came up for me when I was early in my meditation is realizing I could be my own best friend. Um, and what does that mean? And I'm like, I, it, I literally mean the same way that you might be best friends for another person. You could be best friends for yourself. Like you spend time with yourself. You compliment yourself. Sometimes you get bitchy at yourself. Sometimes you like, like all the stuff you go through with a friend, you can go through with yourself. And that includes when you feel really rotten and down, just allowing yourself to sit with that and to like listen and be like, that sucks. Like, that sucks that that happened. Like, I hate that you're hurting so much. Like, all those things you'd say to your kids or your spouse or yeah. your best friend. Like, we never, we are, we're so hard on ourselves. And then when you realize, like, that you're not treating yourself very nice, it's like, I don't know. I don't know how you can sit with yourself for that amount of time in meditation and not and not just figure out a way to be friends with yourself because you you have to spend all your time with yourself. Um, and so you, I think you just do. And so I and, and and realize like maybe you're not so bad. Like maybe if you start relating to yourself as you do to other people, you you could be a bit more forgiving. You could see what's awesome. You could see what actually makes you excited. Like yeah. you stop focusing so much on like, and it's so hard. Like I want so, I want so much to be like perfect half the time or for people to like me. And I don't like feeling like rejected or anything anymore than the next person. But to know that ultimately you're never going to be on your own because you're always there for you is a, it gives you some solid ground to finally stand on and then you can just breathe and that's nice. <laughs> that's beautiful, yeah. And once again, people aren't going into, when it comes to meditation, people aren't going in to fall back in love with themselves, but that's one of the, that's one of the amazing things that the process tends to kind of eventually take you there. And then what an amazing way to live, right? If Being comfortable with yourself because it's hard to uh, articulate what that means, but when you can feel that, it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm.